happy Thanksgiving weekend, everyone, and welcome to the PEG, where an eight-game win streak has the Bombers primed for a fourth straight number one seed in the West, while the Toronto Argonauts enter with eyes on the prize of confirming their place in the CFL's annual November playoff party. He's going to test that free safety for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Go inside, Kadeem Carey, right down the rail here to the 50, and not tackled until he's down at the 46-yard line. Kelly with the throw, goes out to the flats, Deonta McMahon. Enterbuck gets away, Redder Cranby can't bring him down, and finally, it'll be Bonds bringing him down for his 25th tackle of the year. Kelly, second and seven. Looks over the middle, low crosser, David Unger, the third, race to the pylon, touchdown Argos! Ooh, ooh we I love what they did on the backside to create some time for Chad Kelly, as the formation was really nice to give Chad a little extra help on the backside, and watch the block by Kadeem Carey. And Unger underneath, that's an easy pitch and catch. Unger's first of the season, hard to believe. You, baby. That's big time play, I know it gets him on track. Kalaro's back to work after an early quick possession, loads it up now, he's gonna get thrown down. Kalaro's brought to the turf. Doing what he does best, now just a three-man rush from Toronto. Kalaro shuffles around the pocket, can't find anybody open, steps up, and Kalaro's oh. takes <laughs> another hit, Jake Serezna. Back to back two and outs to begin this ball game for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. So once again, they'll have to send it down to Janarian Grant looking to get to the wide side. It's a race and he won't win it. The coverage unit is there. Brian Cole is on the football. Well, they say the ball was loose. They give it to the Winnipeg Blue Bombers at the nine yard line. 48 yards it goes for an offense that's struggling with back to back two and outs. Now they'll try to slip Brady Oliveira out into the flats in a race with D'Arcangelo is in. Wilson leans to his left-hand side, gets stacked up. Last week against Hamilton, looking for a second here. Drives the legs, reaches forward. No signal yet at the goal line. And is this a touchdown for the Bombers or a turnover on downs? Toronto is convinced they've stacked up Wilson and Winnipeg. And it is Toronto Argonauts football at their own one-yard line. How do you handle this for Ryan Dinwiddie? Oh, they look like they wanted to go deep and take a shot. Chad Kelly has some pressure, steps up, slings it over the middle, and that one is hauled in by Devaris Daniels. Alongside Clarisius is the fullback here as they'll go to the inside running go. game, and it is Brady Oliveira breaking free across the 35. 83% on the year. From this distance, 18 of 26. On the season is this one will go wide. Janarian Grant gets his hands on it and the rare time that one of the most dangerous return men in the CFL decides to not take it out of the end zone. Say hey son, let's go. Five options here for Kalaros. Loads it up, yeah. outside, Kenny Lawler on the run, holds it in! Flying over the top, amazing. Kalaros, stutter, stutter, get out of the pocket, uh -oh. back pedals, and all the way down. At the 22-yard line, Sergio Castillo. Earlier on, just getting the single, and now he tags on three more. Succeeding Richie Hall, and as for Chad Kelly, well, he says that he's still looking to get his rhythm and timing back, like he did on that throw there. Well, the knowledge continues to parlay that amongst players and coaches. He pass here to Deontay McMahon, so Why dangerous not? in the passing attack. McMahon, 44 yards away. The only place he's missed this year is between 40 and 47 yards, but this one never in doubt. Toronto over Winnipeg. Four-man rush. Kelly looks to his left. Now has to scramble. Tries to get away from the pressure. Can't get his throwing arm free, so Kelly uses the wheels. He also did in 2019 and 2023. He'll pass rush this time on Kelly. Forces him up the field, and Kelly's going to have to run for it again. Brought down. All-Stars, the long snapper, signed three days ago. He'll send it back to Haggerty. And Hyra Lahu. Honey. 48 of that coming on the Kenny Lawler catch. Now, Ontario Wilson spinning away. Kalaros, quick drop. Looks to his left. Out for weak ball. Dances away from Dark Angelo. Kenny Lawler, bottom of your screen, waggles down. Now Brady Oliveira to the flats. Kalaros looks that way. A slip. Oliveira outside. Here at Princess Auto Stadium. As Kalaros looks to his left, completes this one. H-back fullback, extra pass protector for Kalaros, who loads it up. Wanted to go to the end zone. The ball's out on the ground. And it's picked up by the Argonauts. 
The defensive pressure relentless from Toronto's front, and Winton McManus is on top of it. Ball security. And Kelly, ball firmly in his hands, loads it up. Makai poked back, shoulder down the seam of 20 yards or more in the air. Chad Kelly loves to take the vertical shot. And Deontay McMahon now on the little handoff inside, juking his way all the way down to that the 36-yard line. Kelly waits for the snap, now gets it on second down and medium, and he fits this one in. Short yardage, they just run up and try to get it. Deontay Coxey to the top of the screen. He is their score zone favorite. If they go air, they won't hand it off inside. And it's Daniel Adebaboye getting closer. The Winnipeg defense stacks him up. Dude, I know something about that. Dukes, right side, Evan Holm pulls back the hips. No signal, did he reach the goal line? And they will say third down under center here. Yeah, it doesn't Peter look like they're trying to trick him here. Right in the middle of that offensive line, Kelly leans to the left. Oh, no! Did he get turned around? The Winnipeg defense, did they get a stop deep down in their they own end? did. Thank you, John. Thank you, Joe. Is the two-time most outstanding Canadian in 81 and 86. Watches on as Brady Oliveira, last year's most outstanding Canadian. Murphy taking the top off of defenses and Joe Pop doing all the dirty work underneath. Special player. I think he was in broom balls in 84. Broom ball shoes in that game. <laughs> Stops at 10 on a night where they're trying to continue their win streak. Eight in a row, looking for nine. Over the middle this time, Kenny Lawler. Big grab right at the sticks. Get this to a single score game. 48 yards away for Sergio Castillo. He's already missed one. And this one is a doink. Often in the offense, spread things out. Now Kolaros runs to his left. Zach doesn't use the legs much, but takes off. And he'll go for a 15 yard jaunt. Oliveira's got 52 catches on the season after that one is now over the middle. There's Nick Dembski. Doesn't say his name much tonight, but old reliable. The Bombers' last possession, one of three on the evening. Polaros on first and ten into the end zone. High locked in football. Milton against Lawler, and it's incomplete. Flags are down. Pass interference. And a Lawler tornado. Toronto number 27. The foul of turning goal. It's going to be first down for Winnipeg at the one-yard line. He's no longer on the roster for these situations. Terry Wilson is at the controls. Touchdown, Winnipeg, for the first time tonight. The second round, 15th overall draft pick in 2022. will pass protect on this play. Kelly, oh, shoulder shrug, oh, and just rips up the Kai Poke. On the wide side and already into Winnipeg territory. That's when the bazooka comes in handy. Kelly this time. Oh, Quickly underneath, oh, almost intercepted. Tony, Tony, Tony. Tony Jones told us this week, Matty. He's just trying to find ways to be like Adam Big Hill. What you got? Five man rush. Kalaros gets it out over the top of the defense. Oh, actually, it's Kenny Lawler, Lawler on the other end. Deshaun he Amos Smith. Falling him down. Dollar bill mark. Six catches, 108 yards. Laros quickly out of his hands. Dembski at the 45-yard line. Tackled from behind, but to move the chains. Five receivers. Oliveira stays in to block it up. And now Zach goes down. Clock rolling. Minute 11 remaining. Third and 17. Polaros, four receivers to his right. Deeper drop against the four-man rush. Steps up in the pocket. Polaros looking downfield, looking downfield. Go. Now he's got to go and get it all himself, and he reaches. He had to get to the 48-yard line. Boy, this is going to be close. Ryan Dinwiddie standing 65 yards short. away on the opposite sideline. It's short. First down Toronto. Polaros did everything he could. As the clock rolls for 35 seconds, keeps it himself. Extremely valuable asset to them, consistent returns, but now Haggerty just goes, tries to hammer it as deep as he possibly can. And Whitehead gets on top of it with two seconds remaining. Rather save the time than worry about the point. A very long time ago is Polaros, four receivers to his left. Does he have time to so set it up? He does. He hangs this one high in the air. It's obviously very short of the goal line, up in the air, bouncing around. And did Arimalade just add an interception to his evening to finish things out? Regardless, 
The double blue come to Winnipeg and get a victory. They sweep the regular season and clinch a playoff spot as Winnipeg unable to close things out here in the West Division, which means that Saskatchewan retains a chance for first place if they can win after this Winnipeg loss.